Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice cubic equation t squared minus t cubed is equal to 2. Our job is to find all possible values of t. So let's start. First uh, we move this uh, 2 to the left hand side. So this will become t squared minus t cubed minus 2 is equal to 0 next t squared minus t cubed minus this 2 is same as 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 next t squared minus t cubed this uh, negative times 1 will become negative 1 and this uh, negative times 1 will become negative 1 is equal to 0. Now we rearrange these terms uh, we write this t squared with this negative 1 and we write this uh, negative t cubed with this negative 1. So this will become t squared minus 1 minus t cubed minus 1 is equal to 0. Now we group with these two terms uh, t squared minus 1 we use parenthesis to make this a group minus we make a group of these two terms due to this negative sign this uh, negative t cubed will become positive t cubed this negative 1 will become plus 1 is equal to 0. this one is same as uh, 1 squared so by using this uh, algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus uh, b times uh, a minus b this uh, t squared minus uh, 1 squared will become t plus 1 times uh, t minus 1 minus this one is same as 1 cube and we have a sum of 2 cubes so by using this uh, algebraic identity a cubed plus uh, b cubed is equal to a plus uh, b times uh, a squared minus a b plus uh, b squared this uh, t cubed plus uh, 1 cubed will become t plus uh, 1 times uh, t squared minus uh, 1 times t is t plus uh, 1 squared is 1 is equal to 0. Now as you can see this expression t plus 1 is a common factor. So we factor out this uh, t plus uh, 1 and in bracket left in bracket left this uh, t minus 1 minus this uh, t squared minus t plus 1 in bracket left uh, t minus 1 minus t squared minus t plus 1 is equal to 0 next t plus uh, 1 times uh, we remove these brackets this will become t minus 1 negative times t squared will become negative t squared and negative times negative t will become plus t and negative times the plus 1 will become negative 1 is equal to 0 x t plus uh, 1 times uh, we write this in negative t squared first mm -hmm. negative t squared and this t plus uh, this t will become plus uh, 2 times t and negative 1 minus 1 will become negative 2 is equal to 0 now from here either this expression t plus 1 is equal to 0 or uh, this expression negative t 
squared plus 2 times t minus 2 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of t is equal to negative 1. This is the first value of t. This is the first solution of this equation. To find other two solutions, we solve this quadratic equation. Since this is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. First, to make this negative t squared as a positive t squared, we multiply the whole equation by negative 1. So, negative 1 times negative t squared will become positive t squared. Negative 1 times plus 2t will become negative 2t. Negative 1 times negative 2, positive 2 and 0 times negative 1 is 0. And in this equation, we have a is equal to 1 and b is equal to negative 2 and c is equal to positive 2. According to quadratic formula, t is equal to negative times b is negative 2 plus minus square root of, in place of b squared, we write a negative 2 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 2 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next, t is equal to negative times negative 2 will become positive 2 plus or minus square root of this negative 2 squared will become positive 4. And negative 4 times 1 times 2, negative 8, divided by 2 times 1, 2. Next, t is equal to 2 plus minus square root of this 4 minus 8 will become negative 4, divided by 2. And t is equal to 2 plus minus square root of this negative 4 can be written as 4 times negative 1 divided by 2. Next, t is equal to 2 plus minus this square root of 4 times negative 1 will become root 4 times root negative 1 divided by 2. Next, t is equal to 2 plus minus this root 4 will become 2. This root negative 1, this root negative 1 is equal to i. So, we replace this root negative 1 with i divided by 2. Next, t is equal to, from the numerator, we can factor out 2. And in bracket left, 1 plus minus i divided by 2. And this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2. And we are left with t is equal to 1 plus minus i. From here, we get two values of t. t is equal to 1 plus i and t is equal to 1 minus i. And first we found the value of t is equal to first we found that t is equal to negative 1. First, we found that t is equal to negative 1. This is the first value of t, this is second, and this is the third value of t. So, we have uh, three solutions of this equation, negative 1, 1 plus i, and uh, 1 minus i.